Let us see how aptitude can help you save precious seconds in the test. Consider one more example. Given figure is a square of sight 4 units. A diagonal is drawn and a line parallel to this diagonal by joining midpoint of two adjacent sides is also drawn. What fraction of the total area is shaded area? Again, pause the video before looking at the solution. We need to calculate the shaded area as a fraction of total area. There can be many ways to solve this problem, so let us look at three methods. Method 1 by calculating shading area using the formula for area of a trapezoid. Trapezoid is a figure with four sides such that two of the sides are parallel. For a trapezoid, area is equal to half into sum of parallel sides into distance between parallel sides. So let us calculate the dimensions of the trapezoid. In the figure, a line is drawn parallel to the diagonal by joining the midpoints of two adjacent sides. Hence, the segment can be marked as two units in the figure. So this segment here, from this point to this point here, is two units. And this segment here, from this point to this point again, is two units. Therefore, the hypotenuse of the right triangle can be calculated by using Pythagorean theorem and we will get it as 2 root 2 units. So this is the side of length 2 units, this is the side of length 2 units and this is a right angle triangle. So by Pythagorean theorem, length of this hypotenuse here is 2 root 2 units. By using the Pythagorean theorem, we can also calculate the length of the diagonal of the square as 4 root 2 units. So the length of the complete diagonal here, that means from this point to this point, this can be calculated as 4 root 2 units. So we have the parallel sides of the trapezoid as 2 root 2 and 4 root 2 and all we need now is the distance between the parallel sides in order to calculate the area of the trapezoid. In the right triangle shown in the red outline, it is clear that hypotenuse of this triangle is 2 units. So this is the hypotenuse here. And this is 2 units. Since the interior angles of this triangle are 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree, therefore it is an isosceles triangle, which means that the remaining two sides are equal. Let us assume that their length is x units. So we can write here x and this here we can write as x. So using the Pythagorean theorem here for this triangle here, x square plus x square is equal to 2 square. It gives 2x square is equal to 4, that is x square is equal to 2, so x is equal to root 2. So this x here is coming out as root 2. Now we can use the formula for the area of the trapezoid. Parallel sides are 4 root 2 and 2 root 2 units and the distance between the parallel sides is root 2 units. So the formula gives us the area of the shaded portion as 6 square units. Total area is equal to area of the square which is equal to side squared. Hence, total area is equal to 4 square is equal to 16 square units. The required fraction is shaded area divided by total area. That is 6 divided by 16, which is equal to 3 by 8. So, 3 eighths of the total area is shaded area. Another method by which shaded area can be calculated is area of larger triangle minus area of smaller triangle. So this is the larger triangle we are talking about and this is the smaller triangle. Area of any triangle is equal to half base into height. Hence area of the larger triangle is equal to half into 4 into 4 that is 8 square units and area of smaller triangle is equal to half into 2 into 2 that is 2 square units. Thus shaded area is equal to 8 minus 2 which is 6 square units. And as we calculated before, total area is equal to the area of the square 
which is equal to 16 square units. The required fraction is shaded area divided by total area, that is 6 divided by 16 or 3 by 8. Clearly, this approach saves a couple of seconds compared to the previous method. So remember, if any question takes a lot of time, that means you are going in the wrong direction and there must be a better method. Let us see another method which uses only logical thinking and the geometry of the figure. As you know that a square is a perfectly symmetrical figure, so if we join the midpoints of opposite vertices, then figure will get divided into smaller triangles and one smaller square. If we split the smaller square in half, like this, then we will obtain 8 identical smaller triangles, though not required, but if you wish, you can easily prove that all triangles have equal areas and same sides. Hence, they are identical. Logically also, we can say that the figure is perfectly symmetrical and hence the triangles are identical. Now, shaded area is composed of three smaller triangles and total area is composed of eight such identical triangles. Therefore, the required fraction, that is shaded area divided by the total area, must be equal to 3 by 8. So here we can see that in all there are 8 triangles and in shaded area we have 1, 2 and 3 triangles. So as you can see the question can be solved purely on the basis of the geometry without using formulae of mathematics. There are always a couple of different ways you can follow but there is always an easier way than you can think of. We recommend that while practicing solve a question in as many ways as you can to develop this kind of thought process.